half of us have a chronic disorder such as high blood pressure or autoimmune disease. Rates of anxiety, depression, PTSD, and addiction are skyrocketing. Why? The roots of these issues and more can often be traced to trauma, adverse childhood experiences, chronic stress, and ultimately, nervous system dysregulation. Meet your autonomic nervous system. Let's call it ANS. ANS takes care of a lot of your automatic functions, like your heartbeat, digestion, and body temperature. ANS also manages your survival and stress response, working to keep you alive when your life is in danger. ANS functions as our built-in detection system, constantly scanning our environment for cues of safety and cues of danger. As ANS scans the environment, it has three general responses or states. Safe. You feel calm, relaxed, and connected to those around you. Mobilized. When ANS detects danger, it sends a command and your heart rate and breathing increase, adrenaline and cortisol are released, and blood rushes to your muscles so you can handle the threat. This is our fight-flight response. Immobilized. When ANS detects that the danger is so great that you can't fight or run, it shuts you down. In this state, our heart rate, blood pressure, and body temperature decrease, and pain-numbing endorphins are released. ANS does all of this automatically without us thinking about it. ANS doesn't just use these states for survival. It uses them to navigate through the world each day. When ANS functions well, it moves fluidly from one state to another, one minute mobilized and ready for action, and the next resting and recovering. ANS will often blend states together. When we play, ANS combines the mobilized and safe states. And when we are intimate with loved ones, it combines immobilized and safe states. When ANS can stay flexible and fluid like this, it helps us manage and become resilient to stress and negative events. We're able to bounce back and move on. Unfortunately, when we experience trauma and chronic stress, it can keep ANS from functioning in a healthy, regulated, and resilient way and can keep us stuck in states of survival. A friendly get-together can become frightening. A simple meeting at work can become threatening. For those with a history of trauma and chronic stress, the ANS detection system often becomes faulty, constantly signaling danger even when we are safe. It's like ANS is an alarm system, constantly signaling fire even when there's no smoke and no flames. Consistently living in these survival states can be debilitating and we often develop adaptive strategies like using drugs, alcohol, food, work, or sex in an attempt to bring regulation and temporary relief. Understanding how trauma impacts us is critically important. There is a whole spectrum of experiences that can be traumatizing and adversely impact ants, like accidents, assaults, and natural disasters, which are often called shock traumas. There is also developmental or relational trauma, when we experience chronic adversity, abuse, neglect, and lack of safety while growing up. Many other experiences can be traumatizing, including chronic stress, medical procedures, and adverse community environments, like poverty, discrimination, and violence. Additionally, new research in epigenetics shows us that trauma can get passed down genetically at least three generations. In the past, we've thought about trauma as events that happened to us. We now know that trauma is an experience, not an event. It's what happens inside of us as a result of what happens to us. It's our response to the event rather than the event itself.